let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Hey guys, I want to share my, uh, my plans with the van. I just, the main reason why I bought the van is I want to, uh, I want to camp out with my motorcycle. You know, very rarely do you see anybody doing that. There are some van dwellers out there that, uh, that live with their, have a motorcycle that they carry along. But I tell you guys, I have a fascination with van dwellers with, you know, the notion of living in your van for cheap. You know, not paying uh, property taxes and uh, just saving a whole lot of money living in the confined space and, and letting the outdoors be your home. I think that's that's very, very uh, exciting for me to, I mean, that's something that I always want to do. I have a fascination with it. Some people call it being homeless. <laughs> I don't. I think it's fucking cool. And uh, who gives a shit what people think anyhow, man? But what I'd love to do is I, I I have an idea. What I'd like to do, obviously I'm gonna turn the interior into a, a camper van I'm gonna have, but I'm gonna have a fold-up bed, like I told you guys. And I'm gonna have a counter sink, you know, with all the things that you that you need, you know, to live in a van. But what I'd like to do is I as far as bringing my motorcycle along with me, what I'd like to do is uh, carry the motorcycle in the van, and then when I get to the location that I want to camp out in, take the bike out and put it on a motorcycle carrier that goes on the hitch of a van. I don't know if you guys seen that before. It uh, where the bike sits parallel to the uh, the end of the vehicle, and. Uh, and I'll put a chain on it, like a bike alarm, that while I'm sleeping. So if anybody fucks with the bike or tries to steal it or whatnot, it'll sound an alarm. And I'll come out with a 12-gauge shotgun and, uh, and uh, scare the fuckers away. I'm, I don't plan on doing any modifications to the exterior of the van because I want to keep it as stealth as possible so I don't stand out. I want to be able to urban camp. For those of you that are not hit with van dwelling, Urban camping means to uh, camp overnight at Walmart or uh, or camp out in a neighborhood or just pull anywhere and not really stand out. I mean, that van, most people see those cargo vans, especially that white Chevy Express van as a work van. Uh, main thing is I don't want to get harassed by cops. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to incur any tickets. And, uh, and, and that's what I love about that van. It doesn't have any windows on it. People can't really, they can't look in to see what's going on. And so, yeah, that's, that's my goal. I know a lot of you guys said, man, you should put, uh, you know, you should put some big wheels on it and, and, uh, make it really look like a bug out vehicle, but it takes away its stealthiness, you know? And, uh, I want to keep it as stealth as possible even the interior I want to set it up like I said with a fold-up bed and I'm gonna have a cover over the counter that has a sink microwave and all that so that if somebody looks in the police look in they can't tell that it's a, a vehicle that would be lived in it will make it appear as though it's a work vehicle I'll have like a cover that makes it look like a workbench or something and uh, I don't think anybody has done that. Maybe there are some people that have done it, but on YouTube I haven't seen it yet. So I'll be one of the few that'll have a, a van that looks stealth inside. And uh, also I wanted to clarify that, you know, I don't give a shit what people think. As far as, uh, you know, even if I'm living in a van, I don't see nothing wrong with living in a van. I think it's awesome that our people are saying, you know, they're getting tired of paying the high rent. They don't want to pay a mortgage. They don't want to have all this debt, live this debt lifestyle. They want to free, be free, have fun out here, have extra money. And that's that's a, a option for most Americans. You know, everybody, you know, the working stiffs out here, you know, they don't have a whole lot of money to work with after paying the rent. 
paying you know all the, the bill utility bills and all that bullshit and I think it's really awesome uh, to do that as an option and if people like to look down on it some people will look down on it and say dude you're a, you're a fucking bum you're homeless you know get a life fuck them understand that they're just sheep that's all they're nothing more than sheep man they're just following what society you know has brainwashed them to do be your own person don't be fearful of what other people other people think you know I have much respect for for the van dwellers but hey guys that's all I have for you so until next time I'll catch you guys later deuces Welcome to Psycho Cruises Click the Go links. Just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites. Also, don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com. If you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you and subscribe today. Check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.